about time. Time for what? We've been waiting out here for 20 minutes. She was supposed to have a lesson at 3 o'clock. I don't want to anymore. Cold. I don't understand. Carl doesn't book lessons after 3. If you got a problem, why don't you speak to Carl? Us? Listen, it's all paid for. You're working for me. Now get up on that slope and give that lesson. Tomorrow, huh, kid? Now, Jesse. I'm off duty, Carl. Sorry. Listen, you lazy good for nothing. You walk out that door and you're finished. Carl, I got a feeling this relationship is already over. If you quit me now, Jesse, you'll never get another job around these parts. I'll see to it. Nobody will hire you. It's fine with me, Carl. You owe me a week's pay. Well, you'll never see a penny of it if you don't stay through the weekend. Mistake, Jesse. You're gonna regret this. You were right about you. You are a bum. You're a loser. Stay loose, Carl. Give me, uh, three dollars. <laughs> Come inside, eh? Please, make room for Mr. Dunny, please. Oh, you so I'm tired. This tire makes me crazy. Something wrong? Nope. Check your oil? Nope. Give the man room! Guy sure gets a lot of attention. Who's that? Italian racer. Bernie? So, what's going on? Where's Sheila? Relax. Everything is taken care of. They gave us a house. We got a house. So, where's Sheila? She's in the house. Like I said, everything is taken care of. Yeah. First, we have to register for the race. Okay, eh? yeah. Please, make room for Mr. Durney, please. Very tired, please. That'll be three bucks. See you around, Jesse.
Jesse. You ornery little devil, you. Good to see you. <laughs> I ought to get my razor strap and blister your behind. <laughs> Hand me that bigger reach, will you? Sure. You know, you just don't go and disappear on a guy for three years. Not a card, not a letter, phone call or nothing. No, I didn't really know what to say. Hey, it's me you're talking to. You don't have to say nothing. Just let me know that you're still alive and kicking, that's all. Well, there for a while, I wasn't so sure myself. Here, hold this range for me, will you? Yeah. Right there. Right. Boy, you'd have sure laughed if you'd heard all the stories that was going on around here about you. Well, I heard a few. <laughs> Here, help me up, and we'll set the record straight. You got it. Come on up there. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> well, you ain't a kid no more. Yeah, but then, uh... Then neither am I. <laughs> you know, your coming back's gonna shake up a lot of people around here. Well, I figure they're due for some shaking up. Hey, where are you staying? My car? Not ah, your bumpkin with me. Thanks. So what? He's retired. But I retirado. Ho oh, capito. Then why is he here? He's from here, at Casa Sua. It's his home. Maybe he came to visit his family's friends. What do I know? Maybe you know, you're making a big deal out of nothing. He stayed in shape. What can you tell from a couple of runs? He looks good. That call, he looks good. But it's easy to look good. Come on, come on, scramble! 
Jump out of there. I want to see you scramble. What are you, coach? What are you doing here? Those are skis you're on, God, not a surfboard. <laughs> I thought you retired. I did. Temporarily. Temporarily? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, don't tell me you're here to race. I'm turning pro. You're too late. No way. You're in outer space, Jesse. You're up against younger guys in better shape, and they are killers. I can be a killer, too. Oh, yeah? Well, in all the years I worked with you, you never showed me any of your killer instinct. That's better, Eric. So you'll end up like the rest of them, endorsing pizza parlors and angora sweaters? It stinks. Walk all the way up, clear, and groom the course. Still making them walk up the hill, huh? Yeah. It's good for the thighs. So you don't think I have a chance? You had your chance. Thanks for the encouragement. Yeah. You had that, too. Gee, you look terrific. Harry, how you doing? Terrific. Terrific. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, what's this rumor I hear about you coming back? Uh, there's no rumor, Harry. I'm back. Terrific move. You really think so? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Terrific. I, I really do. Yeah. Good luck. Listen, Harry, uh, uh, I'm looking to make some deals. Sponsorship. Uh, endorsements, that kind of thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I wondered if you'd uh, handle the business end for me. Be my agent. No, no, Jesse. You've been out of circulation for a while. I mean, no doubt about it, you were the greatest. Still am. Still am. Now, that, that thing at Innsbruck. Oh, Harry, that was yesterday's news. Face it. There's going to be a lot of resistance. I mean, you're asking people, corporations, to, to gamble on you. They look at the track record, they're going to wonder. You're not interested, is that what you're saying? Maybe after the prelims. After the prelims, I won't need a salesman. Sorry, Jesse. Straight, he could have had everything. If he'd have played it straight. Too bad. Okay. 
Okay, this is your second cup of coffee. Tell me, is it that you don't remember or that you don't want to remember? Either way, you really know how to make a girl feel special. Anne. Close. Anna. Yeah. We, um, we spent some time together before you left for Innsbruck. No, of course, yeah. Anna. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, that's gone down since then. I'm sure, for both of us. You were up here on vacation. What are you still doing here? It's been a long vacation. <laughs> well, you got stuck in the mountains? There are worse places to get stuck. Oh, well, sure are. So, now you're back. I got some unfinished business I gotta take care of. Sounds like you have it all mapped out. Miss. Over here. I'll be right with you. Some vacation, huh? <laughs> I'll see you around. Uh... 